This is the Truth Table Boolean Logic Calculator for MathCelebrity.com. If you have a statement, a Boolean Logic statement that you want to see the truth tables for, for two or three letters, you can use this calculator. And you can basically enter your shortcuts. So you can do something like P and Q. You can do P or not Q. So I want to stop here real quick. For AND, you use the two AND symbols. For OR, you use two vertical tab symbols. And for the negation statement, you use an exclamation point. Or you could do something like P and Q, P or Q and R. So it really doesn't matter as long as you have three variables and you, and you make the statement of Boolean logic using the correct symbols. Now at a later date, if you want to use symbols other than these and this for AND and OR, just go ahead and email me and we can build those for you. But the general consensus is that we use these these symbols. So go ahead and press the button or return key. So what this does is it takes your, your Boolean logic statement and then it builds the truth table. And we go through all the scenarios. Now, if we had two letters, there's only four scenarios. If there's three letters, there's eight scenarios. So we go through each scenario and then we evaluate your Boolean logic statement based on the particular scenario that we go through here. So pretty fairly easy to use and again if you're on the calculator you would type it the same way. You could do P or let's do P or not Q. And you go ahead and press show logic scenarios. So we got T T T F F T F F and then here is the uh, truth table truth table results. So we'll go ahead and show you a few more. Um, well, this time we'll enter one in the search engine. And, and the nice thing about this is you can actually use all 26 variables, A through Z. So I know the general consensus is using P, Q, or A, B, but you can actually use any letter. Um, one other thing we do have right now, we can say P equal to Q for equivalence. So as you can see here, it, it makes it an equivalent statement. So the trues are equal and the falses are equal. So those evaluate the true. And let's do P and Q for R. Let's show logic scenarios. And again, I'll go through this time the eight scenarios and evaluate your statement. So that's pretty much it. Now, if you come across a statement on the calculator where we don't have it, go ahead and email me. So if you're thinking about signing up for a license and you enter uh, a truth statement and it and it doesn't go to this lesson, just go ahead and send me an email in the contact us link with the statement and I can build it for you probably within an hour. So if you do have any questions or enhancement suggestions, as always, email me. Thanks for watching.